Shalom, friends. If I were to ask you, what is one of the holiest things in Judaism? Many of you would say the Holy Torah scroll. Just think about it. If you've ever been in a synagogue, what happens when they open up the ark, everyone stands up. When they take out the scroll, they walk it around the synagogue, people come to it and they kiss it. And throughout our history, whether it's been in times of war in communist Russia, Jewish communities have spent thousands and thousands of dollars and have risked their lives in order to save a safer Torah. And not only to save a kosher safer Torah, a safer Torah that can be used, but even to save a safer Torah, a Torah scroll that can no longer be used. It was damaged beyond repair. But the Jewish communities would spend the money, they would risk their lives to take these Torahs to do what with it? To show the proper respect and to bury it. And you want to know something? Each and every one of you, if you have a soul, as we saw in the previous video, you have a piece of God within you. You are holier than a safer Torah. If a building was on fire and it was either a human being or a safer Torah, we saved the human being. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how many times you pray. It doesn't matter if you ever went to a synagogue. It doesn't matter if you follow in the Torah ways or you don't. It doesn't matter what your political views are. You have a piece of God in you. You are a holy human being. We save the human. And the same way we take the Torah and we can no longer use it anymore. We would never think of going and taking that Torah and lighting it on fire. The same thing with the body after, with our bodies after our holy souls have left. Our bodies that house that peace of God retains that holiness. How can we go and burn it? To give that body which is holy, give it the proper respect, and to bury it in the ground. Yes, we still have to understand what happens after we bury a body in the ground and what happens to the soul after it leaves the body. But just putting it into perspective, realize the holiness that is in you. Realize the holiness that your body retains. And it should be shown the proper respect by giving a proper Jewish burial buried in the ground. Until next time, have a great day.